Hello ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching. Uh, right now I'm staging for a lift that we're getting ready to do here shortly. Uh, I've got a customer that has two 20-foot sea cans or overseas containers that's coming in on a tall flatbed and we're going to transfer those onto a delivery trailer. Uh, I know it's way overkill but overkill is highly underrated in my opinion uh, each of the straps the blue endless loop slings I'm sorry it's not called straps they're endless loop slings are rated at 21 2 in a vertical uh, each of the foundry hooks and clevises are rated at seven tons safe working load limit and each of the two shackles that I'm using are rated at 12 tons safe working load limit so we are Again, way, way, way overkill. Uh, but anyway, you can see that I've got two different legs. Each leg will go to uh, one of the main main boom winch lines. Uh, they're both set up in the exact same configuration with the boundary hooks, one single strap, endless loop sling on each side so that we can grab each of the four corners of the box. Uh, that's about it for the rigging for now uh, whenever they get here we'll get it set up and get the lift and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy thank you and in the uh, two sea cans the delivery trailer is already here we'll set up between them and just uh, swing them from one trailer to the other Alan, I got the uh, lift charging. I don't know if we want to bring it out or go and just grab one of the extension ladders out of the shop. Either way, I thought we'd just do that one. it's so hard to get out. Whatever, I don't care. We just need a ladder. I'm already tell I'm gonna have to lose this coat. What's up, Sam? I'll get a ladder and make my life a little easier. Yeah. Talon's going to get one uh -oh. out of the truck over here. Hey Rick, is it going to matter to you which direction the doors are? Because if it does, I can re-rig it and do a single pick point and we can spin it. Nope. Doesn't make shit to me, Bubba. Okay. I got to load them straight and paint them anyway. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, this jacket's got to go. Yeah, I, this is as nice as it's been in the last few days. Yeah, I know it. I was telling you, I could tell a big difference in how late it stayed daylight today. Yeah. Oh, big yeah. Difference. I noticed that yesterday. Yeah. Of course, after deer season's over. Uh -oh. oh no, she didn't charge up good enough. I'm gonna need a record. <laughs> need a lift? Yeah, I need a lift. Well, we got Terry's lift in there. The one from the shop, but it's broke down. Every time we go to use it, it blows a cylinder, a different cylinder. We get one rebuilt, get a little bit done with it, and it blows another dead gum cylinder. What's the matter? Oh, yeah. I was talking about your straps and the sling setup. That, that's nice. You got the big hooks. Yeah. Yeah, that's the foundry hooks is what they call those. Are you, are you taking notes you know what's your crane? Well, I think the crane sold. Okay. <laughs> You're not get, taking after Terry, are you? And buying all kind of equipment? I, I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Here's, Terry a, that bought it. here's a story. Terry yeah, I, 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 really, I really didn't want it. Like I said, it was and, Terry. And Terry. When I pick it, it's going to rotate. It's going to level out with the boom. It's going to swing this way on you. If you go too fast with it, it, it kills out because the battery's about dead. Yes, need to.
I'm good. It's not going anywhere. Shoot, that's no weight for this thing. Just don't get under does, it. Does that have does that have a scale on it? Yeah. What is it? Uh, it's good lord. That thing's only showing five thousand pounds. Well, that's that's what I, was, I mean. You know, some of them's high fours and some of them's low fives. Yeah, that's only showing five grand. Shoot, I'm way overkill on my rigging. Oh yeah. Man, big time. Each of those blue straps is rated at uh, 21,200 pounds each. The foundry hooks are 14,000 and the clevises are uh, 24,000. So how far do you have to get away from here before you find another truck like this? Where is the nearest competition? With a rotator? I honestly don't know. Uh, I mean, Cornell doesn't have anything like that. No, I know there's some up in uh, St. Louis area. I think there's one over in Marion. Oh, Illinois. Really? I think there is, but I, I don't know for sure. If you want Ron, just get her down in the in the angle iron and go forward till we hit the stops. Okay. <laughs> I may have to boom up and let some cable out so we got some slack on it. They make them bigger than this. I mean, this is a this is a very nice truck. I love it. Don't get me wrong, but they do make them bigger than this. But they make twin steers. Would a half million dollars even touch something like that? No. For this you way, get close, but you it would. Is that where you want it, Eli? Yeah, we'll get a oh, hell. You're my half monkey, I guess. We'll get I was gonna say we'd get a ladder or a lift, but he's half monkey it looks like, so. You're scratching it.
bet you don't have enough juice to get here. We got it plugged in. Holy cow, I couldn't have hooked that if I tried. <laughs> darn if it didn't do it again. Got enough cable? Good? Careful. That's all right, he's about clear. That's good. You're good. All
Rick may have to pull forward a little bit. Rick may have to pull forward a little bit. Yeah. I probably got enough reach to set it, but it'd be a whole lot easier just to come right beside it. Right. That way we don't have to fight that box so much. Well, I was hoping I didn't get too close to him whenever I backed in. Oh, you're, you're fine. Go ahead, Rick, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Keep going. Is he? We're about up on the road. Okay. We'll make it work. How far does that boom go? Uh, 45 foot maximum boom height. You can stretch a little bit more out of it if you stretch the outriggers down hard. Right. That's good. Eli, you want it right up against the other one? Yeah. Well, if you want it right up against the other one, Eli, we're gonna have to set it down and rehook these two because look at where the hooks are. They're, oh, good point. they're coming out to set. We can do it. That's not a problem. I'll just have to rehook this one end. It's not a problem. I didn't even think about it. Now, Eli, if you want to take these two straps out, take those hooks loose and just put them out of the side, and I can run it right up against the other box. It's okay, Rick. It's not a big deal. Really not. It's just a matter of uh. It doesn't work out good that way. Now when I dump it, I got something. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Do what? He's always taking the fun out of stuff. <laughs> He's good at that though. He's always the real one. Yeah, no. Damn, is that gonna dip off? They like jump a little bit. <laughs> yeah, don't don't put too much weight on that end. <laughs> There she is guys all transferred over as always thank you for watching and uh, god bless <laughs>